Welcome to the next big idea. An incredible journey of innovation, passion and game-changing ideas. Let's see what this team brings to the table. Good evening members of the jury, we are team Akasol and we are here to solve India's biggest water crisis which is our soapy grey water filtration system. I am very sure you might be using dishwashers and washing machines at your home. When I ever see my mom using it and I was, and I was uh, shocked to see where is the water, approximately 150 litres of water being wasted on. And there was literally no solution in India or where in the world, a cost effective solution to cure this. And so we are here to solve this issue. So what are the ideas? Basically we are using a set of filters and uh, we have made three MVPs to be sure. First is we have developed our own filters, our own indigenous filters, which is not dependent on the uh, stereotypic uh, fil filtration process, but it is based on absorption process. That filtration name is AquaClean. Where the AquaClean is based on zero lights and other ion mixing reasons, which is the main component of removing the soapy uh, particles from the outlet water. Next is the RO system. Uh, you have seen a conventional RO system where there is 75% wastage of water, and that's little too much. Wherein we bring our own designs, our own new patent, uh, in filed patent model, wherein there's absolutely no wastage of water and there's 100% outlet of pure fresh water and the water, wastewater re incurs and has spread to a pass. And next, to incur a uh, difference, uh, to have an interface between the hardware and the soft, uh, hardware and the customer, we incur our own IoT model, wherein the AquaCheck system checks for uh, four basic sensors, which is of TDS, pH value, dissolved oxygen, and turbidity sensors, and shows on the interface, live interface app, where whether the water is safe to drink, what's the condition of the water and all, and whether the filter needs to be changed or replaced or not. Come to the cost of the model. Well, when I say effective and cost efficient, it has to be. The prototype which you developed and which we are uh, using under the test, testing phase costs somewhere around 50,000 rupees, and these are the uh, whole est breakdown estimation of what the whole uh, particle includes. Come to the maintenance, the maintenance costs 6,100 rupees where the filter gets changed uh, in every six months and this is the whole monthly, uh, yearly cost for the product maintenance. Uh, so the main thing we require for the product is electricity and water and that's what we are solving here. The water bills which needs to be paid by the industries and large uh, MNCs like laundry industry and all and it's a hefty amount which will be showing where the amount costs to. So, but what is the amount we are saving to and what is the cost of electricity and those uh, renewable, non-renewable sources which we are using? So, the, we have calculated the whole estimation like uh, where the electricity cost comes uh, per day of 2.5 rupees. Uh, wherein the water cost which is commercial use, we have taken at 31.2 litres of commercial water for per thousand litres which is uh, given by the Hindu as per the Maharashtra uh, state. So, wherein we calculate the cost of one washing machine which runs for 40 cycles per day for 15 minutes as a running time the water cost per month given by the industry is 5,616 rupees along with uh, the electricity bill comes somewhere to uh, the whole estimation and we are saving a net worth of uh, 46,000 rupees 914 per washing machine of the industry. This is the whole model we are based on. In short, as 31.2 rupees was the cost of per thousand litre, our product gives a cost of 10 rupees per thousand litres. Coming to the business model of what Aquasol is based on. Well, we are uh, working on the B2B uh, business model, business to business model, wherein we have uh, three types we are focusing on, which is manufacturing, where we are having our own manufacturing plants, we are having our own service based uh, ecosystem, and we are doing everything on our own. Second is the partnership, where we will be tying up uh, with services like AWS and all for uh, providing us with IoT services. And third is the IP rights, where on, right, as a uh, like initial phase, we are focused on the IP rights segment, wherein uh, we will be giving our uh, patent rights to the already pre manufactured uh, companies for naming a few like Bosch and LG, which is both in the washing machine segment and the filtration segment. They have their own uh, whole ecosystem of uh, filtration, whole uh, fi uh, ecosystem manufacturing. They will be manufacturing us and we'll be getting loyalty from their, uh, for the product. What is the social enterprise of the model? Uh, well, the social enterprise is based on the sixth uh, uh, UN uh, sustainable development goals, which is water cleanliness and sanitization. We also had a few talks with the companies like uh, startup companies for the CSR funds and which like a big MNCs which will be funding us because it, we come under sustainability model. And next is the presentation uh, support. Like AWS and IoT, these support Microsoft startups, uh, as we, have, we are a member of Microsoft's uh, community from a college, we are getting the support of uh, free uh, IoT services and uh, web services from AWS and even Microsoft. So in that way, we incur the company cost to a very less amount. Next is what is a uh, growth and marketing strategy? Well, uh, the government partnerships. Well, uh, so far we are pre uh, present somewhere and uh, we also have backed an offer by IIT Madras Incubation Center, TBI. Uh, under the uh, scheme of Startup India Innovation, we can get grants from uh, these companies and all. Next is the ergonomicity. 
wherein uh, wherein we integrate with the existing systems. So our basic aim right now is to like washing machine, dishwasher, which are already available. We want, want to make the uh, product so compact that these can fit into the outlet of these uh, system, and it whole becomes as a single unit rather than an uh, extensional unit. Next is the communities and environmental officers. Well, uh, if you go to the big chains in industrial hotels like ATC, uh, ITC, Taj, and all, everyone is acquiring environmental officers for their uh, ecosystem, where we connect with them, and they are the point of contact for us and for the big hotel MNCs and the laundry sectors. Come to the target size. Well, we are targeting right, a very niche market, and it's a very untouched market right now because there is no proper solution for this thing, and no one has ever thought because it simply gets wasted. But caring for the nature, we have thought the laundry sector in India uh, is of twenty thousand for financial 2023, which is based on the Economic Times data. And coming to the uh, land romance, uh, we don't have any data for India, but in the US, it states to uh, 300,000 US dollars. Basically, when the land romance have an uh, annual turn uh, average turnover of this much, their utility cost, which consists of water and the electricity cost, comes to 70,000, which is like approximately 25%. So our, uh, you might be confused where our target segment is. We are not uh, uh, targeting the big, uh, you know, industrial areas, uh, industrial areas and like residential areas and all, because it's too hectic to manage and all. We are targeting luxury hotels, restaurants, landomats, and laundry industries, wherein the market is really big. Uh, why us? Why Aquasol? Basically, Aquasol, uh, wherein um, when I show the product demonstration, you'll be surprised to know how this thing is working, and we want to really keep it a bit of secret because. So, can you tell me in a short group, so what is your product? So basically our product is a hardware product, okay. it is a software, it has a set of filters which filter the soapy grey water. So it filters the? Soapy grey water, soapy grey water. of washing machines and dishwashers. Okay. Just one, uh, just uh, 30 seconds video, which uh, like we cannot bring the hardware over here for demonstration purpose. So that was a bucket which had a 30% concentrated uh, Detergent dissolved in the water. For first, it goes to sediment filter, which is completely designed by own, which we have made changes and all our. This is uh, then comes silver common filter, which we have again. This is the RO, wherein there's no wastage of water, and the water from the RO reverse RO goes back uh, to the inlet because of the pressure difference which we have created and the whole uh, system which we have developed on our own. This is the IoT system for multi system, and that is a UV lamp. Uh, this is the back end of the app uh, where. This is the back end of the app which shows the each and every like whole customizer you can customize it to which at what rate you want to show the ratings uh, like the readings of the water system. What is your uniqueness of your product? So uniqueness, uh, you might have seen RO. So there's a seventy five percent wastage of water. In our RO, there's no wastage of water. There's First no there's no there's no outer water, water outlet itself. What are you going to target and on our audience? So for example, you you told like uh, you do some patented technologies with RO patented technologies with sedimentation and that's a different uh, area of expertise that you need it okay and then you say some kind of uh, uh, IOT devices that are being attached towards that Correct and sir. that is a separate uh, expertise sir. that that is a, a involving okay Correct, sir. and then you also talking about uh, in involving this with uh, existing solutions like washing machines and compacting your your product into a single unit and all those things Correct, sir. again that is a separate set of expertise okay Correct, so you you are talking about multiple areas where where that need to be concentrated and then should be channelized and then it should be converted as a product where even today if you take aqua aqua filters or if you take an RO filter, RO filter manufacturing company will be a separate company whereas the IoT devices producing company will be a separate okay. company. All those things will be like a plug and play uh, actions currently. Yes, sir. But you're telling me that all these things are done into a single package that you are you are already telling like supply. Correct, patent network. So I just want to know what is the innovation that you claim okay, sir. is what you tell it as a patented product, Correct, first sir. thing. Okay. Second question I just want to know is why I need so much of uh, intervention of IoT which I need to know only the quality of the water where, where you show me some boats and pump and all those things happening. Huh? So why I need a IoT device eventually if the work if you are involving what kind of sensors you are involving to ensure that the water quality is being done. And the thing is, what is the test you have done that you are claiming is, yes, is, is so perfect? Like you just yes, threw me with some test materials that you have done. Uh, so coming to the first question, <coughs> so basically this product will be attached at the outlet, like in hotel chains, there's a lot of washing machines and they have a common inlet pipe. 
outlet pipe. It will be attached over there, and that is a f like uh, that is a future goal to compact it within the washing machine itself. You to you tell me that well, there is no wa waste of water. I'm not believing you. Okay. Tell okay. tell me what you have done. So, so we're not going to steal your idea, but just give me a glimpse that I can't understand how you are going to do that. Uh, <laughs> so we uh, went to a couple of research papers and all. So we saw that why is the water being wasted? The answer is it is not a waste water. It is we are not giving time or basically creating a pressure difference to further letting the water to pass through the filters. So we reverse engineered in a way where the water is again back pushed into the inlet of the RO and water is allowed to, uh, you know, like we are living the waters from dinosaur age. It is reverse engineering which no one has thought. This, that's why I never, you know, say this thing because uh, right now this idea is being used by Kent. I went to India's Future Tycoon and uh, they have uh, taken me the rights. They, uh, they asked me to get a patent right now, which we are working on. And I'm selling to Kent right now. Kent has taken over this to be open, very open right now. So next thing is, uh, you know, filters, they are based on uh, separation method. So, so you pass the water, the sediments are left, but the AquaClean filter is not a uh, sediment filter. It is an absorption filter. There's no absorption filter based as such in India. I would say it's based in US, but that is not for soapy water. So we use uh, ion exchange resins. Uh, as the soaps are basic in nature, we are using a uh, uh, acid ion exchange resin to eliminate the soapy nature of the water. Second, we have zeolites. So again, it is a reverse engineered. Uh, I just got your idea. Yes. He gave me a good explanation. Okay, uh, so my question is, when when you go for a claim like this, Correct, don't say it is hundred percent. Okay, so hundred percent means zero waste. Correct. Sir. If you put forty percent water also, again you do do the reverse RO RO of, uh, filtration. Again, it will produce some waste. I have a reason for hundred percent claim. Not hundred percent, say ninety five percent claim. Uh, but be careful with the st stats because it is easily can manipulate me. See, if you tell me 95% of waste, then okay, I can say, I can believe on you. Yes, sir. If you say 100% means I, there is a there is a breakage of thing like you're sir, you're telling uh, me like we say uh, like 100% outlet with 95% purity. Yeah. To uh, be that, very that, that doesn't sound well. No, like so that doesn't so sound like, uh, to me. 95% right clarity because 5% would be remaining in the filter itself, which is being sedimented. Why is this? so much of uh, IOT I need, like uh, what is the purpose of all those things? So basically it is a very simple IOT, I would say. So the purpose is just to know, like what happens, there are a lot of water qualities when you use dyes. So we are giving it a very larger aspect when you use dyes in water. Every dye, like cheaper dyes, they have a different reaction in water. So just to know what is the turbidity of water, like a lot of dyes leave color. So as the e like ecology which are developed is from the outlet water, it goes to the, uh, we push the water, clean water to the underground water. So that it comes again as a fresh water, you recycle it at home and use it for drinking purpose. What thing you're doing? Like what's you use sensors or you- Yes, you're using use sensors, basically four sensors. Oh, One is pH sensor. Okay. So because the water is basic in nature, so you need to know it's whether in a neutralized state or not. Second stability sensor, whether to see whether the water is still clear, it's uh, like still- All the these sensors are kept in which locate of water? Like so at the end of the filtration process- Outlet. Like, yes, sir. so you, when you see, uh, okay, so to be very clear, when this is the UV lamp, the pipe of the UV lamp, UV is outside the water pipe. There itself, we have made holes and we are just, this is the TDS sensor, which have the basically incorporated in the pipe itself. So as the water flows, the sensor keeps reading the data and it projects on the IoT or on the screen, which is even on the, there on the product itself. Why are you making it so complex by using IoT? Just make me clarify. The customer should know, the, because they won't uh, believe me, right? When I say the water is clear, let it go. You need to see some proof. So this is one of the industrial proof, I would say, using IoT to say whether the water is clear or not. Uh, basically, uh, using different sensors and such, it's just for it just for uh, means monitoring the stuff so that the water that you are getting is actually pure. Because we are also saying that after six months, we'll be, um, we'll be actually changing the filters and all of that so that you can monitor it. Yeah, so you were saying that you're going to focus on luxury hotels, restaurants, laundromats, laundry industry, right? But this product that you're talking about focuses on washing machines and your economic city talks about talking to Bosch and you know incorporating a product to other MNC companies, washing machines and so on and so forth. So we tried all our hands on all the things to know where the market wants. We got to know what companies want the RO system. Incubators like IT Madras and these chemical industries want the AquaClean uh, system, which is the absorption filter. So we got to know the two, two main things which our product has. Now we are planning to go to patent these two right now and sell on these two things rather than making the whole product this is our what we have thought as of now and uh, right now that's one of the th that's one of the main reasons that we are we are to uh, approach the lg and bosch because they are they are in both of the industries
so the, the, they will be, they will be more much more interested in the whole product than the than uh, individually splitting it yeah that's a good approach go ahead all the best thank you so much sir and now it's time for judge's opinion about the pitch So it was a good one 